Hello folks, this is Dana Moniz, also known as Paragon RG. I'd like to show you the next build of the game today. I have three different things to show, in fact, one of which for me is kind of a big deal. Let's jump in. So the first is zoom. You can now zoom in and zoom out. And there are a few different ways of doing this. The first is, so I'm using the, uh, the scroll wheel right now. You can also use the uh, minus and plus buttons. May not be that useful, but if you click and hold, press and hold, sorry, you can kind of see it's a little smoother. Um, I actually think the last one is the most interesting and I think might be the most useful at a competitive level. If I press F2, it jumps me out to some degree and gives me a bit more of a strategic level zoom. And this jumps me out even further. I demonstrated raising last time. You can raise cities. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can now see that army, uh, that cities rather have health bars and they tell you how many um, people are still in that city. So we see that number go down and when it hits zero, it's just gonna go away and the city will appear destroyed. And as before, we see the overall score changing as we raise the city. Okay, so to demo thing number three, I need to boot up two separate instances of the game. So these are actually two different processes running in order to simulate as closely as possible people on two different machines playing the game. So let's go ahead and click quick play on this one. And I showed previously um, in a different uh, video that it waits for the match. The matchmaking ticket is created. Let's go ahead and do the same on this one. Okay, we see it's found a match. Waiting for match, this should update in a second. There it goes. Let's drop this one into a game. And let's drop this one into a game. This is online multiplayer. And I have tested it with at least a couple different people. Uh, I, it's not game isn't on Steam, so I had to send them uh, an EXE and get them to trust me and run it. But it does work. So this may not look flashy or difficult. This was weeks of effort and I think um, without the right tools, this could have potentially been months of effort. So I'm thrilled that this is in place. And I will tell you that this is the main change where once, I'll put it this way, once I knew I could do online multiplayer, I knew I kind of had to leave my job. This was the last piece of the proof of concept. And so I thought this is it, you know, let's pick my last day and let's commit to this thing. So again, I'm really excited about this. This opens up in the very near future, doing some demos of, you know, having two different people play and maybe I spectate or, or, or something like that. There are, there's always a few sort of smaller cleanup changes that get made. And so you can see now that you can't, you can't order the army around, although it looks like I can still start a fire um, once the game is over. So those are the kinds of things to be fixed. And maybe, who knows, maybe one day I'll even remove the white cube. Did that fire just lag the camera? Well, one more thing to fix. Join the Discord server. It's linked below. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. This has been Daniel Moniz, and I'll catch you next time.